to the Spring Hibernate series. So in this series, we are going to create, or we are going to implement that data access layer along with the service layer. To start with the data access layer and service layer, let's create two packages. So for creating the package, let's name it as service and one more package as DAO. So inside the service will be we would be keeping or we would be saving the service classes so let's create an interface and name it as car service after creating it successfully let's create one more class inside it let's name it as car service IMPL within the car service let's define the methods or the methods which would be doing some business logics so let's start with car and the name of the method would be save car import the car package or the car class from the model so let's pass a parameter of car type after this let's create one more method which would be returning all the cars so get all car so here we need to import the list which is inside java.util.list after this let's define one more method which would return a single car by its id and this method would accept a parameter which would be of integer type let's define one more method that is to delete car by id and here also we need to provide a method or a parameter that is in tidy then one more method to update car info and here we need to pass a car instance so these are the methods which we are going to work so this is for creating this is for displaying all the all the cars or list of car this is for displaying a single car this is for deleting a single car and this is for updating a car info so this car service IMPL is going to implement the car service so as we know that if a class implements an interface we need to provide all the details to the methods so I have called all the methods which are being defined inside the car service Similarly, inside the DAO or data access object layer, we need to create a interface. Let the interface name be car DAO. And one more implementation class that would be car DAO IMPL. So within the car DAO, we are going to define the same methods which we have defined inside the car service interface. So
so let's copy it and let's define it inside it and this car DAO IMPL is going to implement the car DAO so as we know the hard and fast tool we need to provide or we need to add the unimplemented, unimplemented methods of the car DAO interface once it is done let's create one more controller that would be car controller and let's create one more view inside the view and let's name this view as add car add car form so the sequence would something be like this let's create one more file in order to explain let's name it as explanation so it should be like view from view the data should go to controller and from controller the data should go to service and from the service it should go to the DAO and from DAO the data should be stored inside the database so this should be the sequence so here we have created add car form as a view then we created a controller that is car controller after this we created car service impl it should call car dao impl and it should store the data over the oracle database so this should be the sequence how the data is going to be inserted retrieved update or delete from a view so we will have a form and from the form that control or the data would be passed to the controller the controller is responsible to interact with the car service IMPL and the service IMPL is going to call the respective DAO IMPL and the DAO IMPL is going to store the data over the Oracle database so we are set or we have created the prototype now we need to write the logic or the business logic inside the car DAO IMPL and the car service IMPL along with the car controller so the form that we are going to create inside the add car form this should be created with the help of spring it would be a spring form in the later videos I will share like what's the advantage that we will have by having or by using a spring tag libraries for creating the form there are some predefined tag libraries which is, which is being provided by the spring framework itself in order to bind the data of a model so this should be the task that we are going to complete in this current tutorial 